Hi guys, well welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Today um, we've got another one of these uh, car uh, reveals and uh, we're going to take you on a tour of the plot after that as well. And we'll have a look at the Christmas potatoes as well, so that's all to come. First things first, let's go and um, do these, uh, these car uh, potatoes and then we'll have a look at the, the Christmas buds and after that we'll go on a tour so first things first let's go and grab these car and um, have another see we see we can beat the, the personal best there was every chance of uh, doing it the bucket seems to be feel a bit heavier but we won't know until we do it so let's uh, get down there and um, get cracking right, this is the third reveal of these car um, and uh, this will be the, I think this will be the, the last one we're going to do with these. But I, this is the heaviest bucket, I think. And, uh, well, as you can see, uh, we've got the bucket there with all the bits in. And we've got the, the bags I'm going to, I reckon I'm going to need a couple of bags. And I can't see why not. We've uh, had some cracking reveals um, out of these, these, these buckets. I'm just going to put my gloves on and uh, we'll tip the bucket over. What would be cracking that in my bucket? I don't know. Anyway, so this is the third one. The green one there. Ooh. Anyway, might as well take some of these out. Get it. I'll do that in a minute. Anyway, I'm going to flip the bucket over. <coughs> it really is an heavy one, this, as you can see, now in there. And. Right. Oh, dear. This is the fun bit. Some cracking root, that root system there. This is why they've, they've done so well, guys. And. Uh, well, not one for disappointing. Let's look at the size of them spuds. Incredible. There's none in the, the bottom um, four inches, which is a bit surprising. It's, I think the reason why the bucket's so heavy is because the soil's wet, so anyway, let's crack on. And there's a few here. There's the, um, the skin of the seed potato. Yeah, we won't be weighing all the rubbish, guys. There's a few potatoes here, I'm feeling. Yeah. They seem to be in the, in the, the, the top two thirds of the bucket. A few small potatoes. Small seed potato, there's the other seed potato there. There's a lot of small, small potatoes. There's potatoes everywhere here. Oh, 
we've got everywhere I'm going here I'm pulling big potatoes out <laughs> got to do this methodically I suppose the size of that one Got them all out now. I'm still pulling small ones out, just throw them in the there, there's another bigger. I don't think this one is as big as the others, but let's get the bags out and we'll soon find out. Some nice potatoes nonetheless. There's some real nice potatoes there. Yeah, we'll be definitely doing these next year, I can tell you now. Absolutely awesome they are. Well, I think I've got over ten pound anyhow. Some small ones away. Yeah, I'm confident I've got them all. Right, now then, let's uh, ooh, do the weighing. Set my scales. I'll set them to pounds, they're kilos at the moment. Right, here we go, they're set to pounds. And, uh, Oh yeah, bugger. Bloody bag. Try this one again, eh? Look, I brought a couple of... Tell you what, we're going to weigh the whole lot together. So it's zeroed in. And we're going to lift the bucket up. Ah! Well, it's not as good as the best one, but it's the second best bucket I've ever had of sixteen pound. About eight, sixteen pound eight. So there you go guys, £16.8, it's not, not beat me, um, my personal best, but it has beat the previous best, so out of three buckets of these Cara now, I've had uh, 
16.4, 16, 16.8 and 17.8. Uh, 17, so, yeah, that's, uh, that'll do me. I'm quite chuffed with them. I said we've got another two buckets. If we, if we do get any, if we get any other better weights. What we'll do, we'll weigh them and uh, we'll give you the results. But uh, another 16 pound bag of spuds, nearly 17 pound, guys. That's very good. Right, I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee now and celebrate. <laughs> So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, I didn't weigh all the buckets, uh, all the potatoes uh, first first time there. Um, we got to 16.8, um, which was a cracking weight. That that beat me, that beat me previous personal best um, on its own. So I was well chuffed with that. However, when we come to empty the bucket and take take all the soil out, we found some small potatoes and. Um, well, I'm going to show you um, what they weighed when we when we put them in the bag. So uh, let's have a look at see what the the they weighed eventually. Well, guys, it's a bit too late now, but when I've just been sifting these, uh, I found these uh, these other spuds inside the bucket. We're not going to we're not going to cl officially claim them, but uh, we're going to put them in anyway, to just to see what weight we should have had. I'm kicking myself. This, I, you know, when, you, when you're moving them about, it's bloody awkward, even them small ones there. So, I reckon we're going to be very close to 17, 17 pound here. So, let's measure them for the, do them for the last time. Let's see, oh, I've got to set the scales up, haven't I? There we go. 70 pounds. Lift them up. Believe it or not, it's 17 pound there. But I can't. I'm not going to claim it because I didn't weigh him. It just, it just, it's bouncing on 17 pound. I don't know you can see that. It did say 17 one a minute ago, but I can't keep it. Keep hold of it anyway. Whew. Swing the camera up. Yeah, the, the only problem I've got is holding that bloody things up the way so they're so awkward to hold. And uh, it's still it's just, it's my second best weight of all time, but it doesn't beat the um, the 17.4. I knew it was close, but the the reason why I, I thought they might have been actually heavier was because the well it was heavier. It's just that it was the uh, it must have rained and um, the the rains um, the you know the waters that added to the weight to make it feel heavier. But um, yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with that. Uh, my face is a bit faded away there. Uh, it's just the way the sun is at the moment. Uh, but it's, I, I don't know what it is, it's just not darkening up. Um, anyway, enough of that. Um, but yes, 16, 16, 8. And if we want to um, add them others, add, it's 17, it coming at 17, 17 pound 1 or 0 1. So yeah, again another 16 pag, bag, uh, pound, 17 pound bag of spuds. So uh, yeah, there's the result. Anyway, I can assure you, all the other spuds are not going to be like this. Uh, these are just these are daft weights. These, the others are going to be around three, four, five pound. Um, next year, these are definitely on the list for um, potatoes. Um, to to grow and they make cracking chippers as well they really do right that's it for this one let's get back up the top and uh got something else to show 17 you 17 pound 
zero one ounces um, but you know we should have weighed them in the bag unfortunately we didn't so we just you know 16 16 pound eight and as I was saying there um, out of three buckets we've had nearly oh, well, over 50 pound of spuds it's um, that is pretty good going that it really is um, it's a lot of spuds uh, for, for, for the buckets and uh, yeah, next year we're going to be doing these car um, again. A uh, question of a doubt. Uh, the first, I think, the first potatoes we're going to buy are the car. However, um, we've still got the South Pole mirrors there with the tops still on them. We've took all the tops off all the others, barring the car and foods. We've got to get to them, and we'll take the tops off them accordingly. But the, we're going to leave the South Poles because, like I say, there's nothing wrong with them. There's no dieback at all, and um, we could probably get another couple of weeks growing out of them. And the salpos are a very big potato, so there's every chance we're getting a good weight out of them. And uh, with that, I thought we'd uh, show you the the an update on the um, Christmas potatoes. The Maris Piper, uh, which is in this uh, coal frame here. So let me quickly show you, um, show you that. Oh, guys, these are the um, the Maris Piper, the Christmas spuds, and as you can see, they've just started to break through now. So um, we'll be putting these. Some, once we take the tomatoes out of um, the greenhouses, or whichever greenhouse we take them out first. What we will be doing is putting bubble wrap um, round them and um, keeping them in like little frames inside the greenhouse because it gets extremely cold um, at the end of this month and the next month and um, well what we've got to try and do is to keep them going so we can keep them watered and we can insulate them I reckon we'll have some cracking spuds for Christmas but as you can see they look really healthy and um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what we get for Christmas out of these two buckets. Okay, so that's it. Now then, um, what we're going to do is take you on a bit of a tour. We'll take you around um, the plot. There's a there's a lot um, of things which have come out. I've not put the videos up, uh, but we will put the videos up of the onions and what have you. Show you exactly um, what we ended up with. Been eating some lettuce, what I'm going to be feeding the chickens, and got them stuck between my teeth, unfortunately. Anyway, um, we're going to go on the tour now and uh, take you around the plot. We'll show you the greenhouses and show you what's happening in them and everywhere else. So, uh, let's get cracking. going down onto the plot. So, I thought I'd take you on a bit of a tour. We're going to be painting this very shortly. Bloody some cobwebs on here. Um, it come in handy for all Halloween, anyway. Remember them tomatoes what we, we took a slice off and put in a, in a pot? Well, these are in the outside tomatoes. There's uh, quite a lot of tomatoes on them when you look, in, when you look um, on the ends of them, like these things here. They, they've, you know, they've got a long way to ripen. And uh, same with the one over there. Um, but as you can see, they're, they're actually leaning here. We need to brace this one back so it doesn't collapse <laughs> and again this is something else we're going to be need to be painting um, so we'll be bringing the paintbrush out very shortly these are my strawberries we've actually got strawberries uh, flowers on these late ones and I don't know if you can see in the amongst the, the, the strawberries there's lots of pots and um, we're going to be doing a video on how I how I um, get extra um, strawberries uh, runners and uh, there's a video all about what uh, dahlias have all started to die back now the tip is when they when they, the the head of the dahlia like that one there starts to die what you do guys <laughs> nip it off take it off and what will happen it'll throw more um, flowers out and uh, this is all going to be cleared out of here. This is coming out. This is dead. 
this was uh, all the, the rain that we've had. It's uh, it's basically drowned the um, gooseberry. So these are all, everything that's coming out of this bed this year. You can see there's lots of small sunflowers are called Little Leo and there's more dailies all the way along. In fact the dailies have all gone now but um, I have got um, videos of the dailies when they've been in the prime form so we'll be showing you them shortly. Um, it won't be long before the leaves will be coming off all these um, current bushes. Um, all the orchard, well you can't really see from this side, we'll have to go around the other side but the, these um, apples have been doing wonderful. The gladiolas, um, again we had all these along here, we've took the tops off them now and um, they were beautiful and we'll be showing you them as well shortly. Um, anyway, coming down here is where my comfrey tea is. There's, a, there's another video about my comfrey tea and um, I will prepare it and that's to come as well. Uh, this is the, the middle greenhouse. Now we've been, we've been taking tomatoes out of here left, right and centre. Um, yesterday we took a pile and I've, I'm going to show you that clip now. Um, show you some of the tomatoes that we've take, taken out. Oh, I've just been in the middle greenhouse and just picked myself some uh, Shirley's Bunny Maker and um, some Gardener's Delight. Uh, that's what we've had out the middle greenhouse. So we've got no, we've got no um, red ones left. I just, like I say, just took them all. There might be one or two left on there, but that's not bad harvest. That uh, nice big plant pot full of them there. So there's a the result. So as you just saw there, we've been, we took about two, three, three buckets of them out and there's still red, there's still some on here and uh, the uh, peppers and what have you starting to ripen not as good as the ones in the other greenhouse may I had and we've got cucumbers, these are given in to the chickens um, the corn, well, there's two different types of corn here I can't remember what they're called now but these are a late variety and these are a smaller, smaller variety. Um, sorry about my phone giving it some earth. But uh, yeah, the, 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 there was really strong winds on here and they blew me corn over on the other side. Um, but you're looking at their celery and that's, that's ready for picking almost. We put um, some... Um, some turnips in but I've just looked there and all the slugs have had them so we're gonna to have to redo that. Here my girls, there's Andini there coming up. Uh, nosy little so and so. Uh, behind these by the way um, we've got some beetroot. Uh, this is beetroot here and uh, we've got a few garlic in there what we've just left. We, we've got uh, some cabbages what we've put in there I've not shown you that video neither. And we've got more cabbages where the onions were, so I'm going to be showing you the onions shortly as well. We did a video for that. And we've got butternut squashes there, and um, we've also got courgettes, but there's a courgette turned into more like a bloody marrow. And if you look over there, you can see these cell poles. And then all these buckets are here, they're all stacked. We just um, took the tops off them and stacked them up underneath this um, plastic. But then there, probably another two weeks, um, are growing. These uh, runner beans, um, absolute cover. We've been pulling these off by the handful. I mean, look at this lot here. It's absolute covered in them. And the beautiful. There's some really long ones there. Look at the size of them ones there. These are really big. Uh, I bet they're 14 inches. They were some really big ones, but the buried in all this like you just have to, uh, what's that one there? that's a big one but there's just covered in them um, the Carinfords, the these potatoes here have all died back now this just dried up this isn't blight well I hope it, it wasn't but these are quite resistant to it these sow poles so we need to take the tops off we're going to be taking this out this frame and we're going to have to sacrifice this um, this courgette 
these these potatoes, these are off the um, sow poles, look it's growing on the bloody ground here. Still, they're putting energy into the bulbs and as you can see the weight of them is uh, leaning over the fence. We tried to, we put this here to restrain them to stop them falling on the path but we failed miserably there. Anyway, coming along, what you see there, some collies, broccoli, some cabbages. Um, <clears throat> We're just getting into this bed here to tidy it up, we'll be doing that later. We've got some um, Isakiri onion bunchings, we're going to be taking them out. A few cabbage, you've got some kale there which is, we need to take that net off the top to let them grow. As you're coming along here you can see the apples, these are um, bake, Bramley's baking apples. This here's got to be cut as well, This is we're going to be pruning this back, right back hard. I mean look at the, look at the apples on this. Absolutely dessert apples, beautiful here. Yeah. And you can see them all here. We'll be pulling the tree over. And uh, again, more sunflowers here. Um, these are starting to go yellow. You can tell when they're going to be falling off these soon. Now this is what my dailies have been looking like, these ones here. But the, the others, I mean they've got dailies all the way along here. But they've all died back now and uh, we've been cutting them back as well. Inside here we've got some big butternut squashes. You can't really see it but there's a whopper in there. And we've got some jack-o'-lanterns for the grandkids for Halloween. And we've just used this to suppress them all and it's 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 playing hell with the, the leaves to be quite honest with you. What we should do is just release it and release the kraken basically and let them go crazy. Again, we've had to put a, a metal cable on this to stop this from blowing over. The winds were so strong on here, guys. It was it was terrible, and um, yeah, it's, it's caused a lot of damage to me air uh, dailies and what have you snapped all my dailies. That's why we've had to take the tops off. But uh, yeah, there's there's a few tomatoes on these. It's, it's they're buried in amongst all this lot here. This, you can just see them here underneath here. Um, they're, they're doing quite well actually, there's a lot of lot of flowers on them. Um, you've, you've seen this here, the, the, the potatoes. This here, what's covered up here is these pallets. We, we, we've got to paint all these, we're still doing making more of these out, this picket fence. And uh, quickly just show you. That's the picket fence there as you can see. And um, we just cover them over at the moment, but these there's another four there, we're, I think we've got another dozen or so coming. So we nearly got what we need to do the job. Anyway, last port of call. It's inside the, the front greenhouse, there's my car there. So these are the um, the rainbow blends and um, me and my mate George got in here about two weeks ago and we cleared all the right ones out. Well, um, I'll be in there later on to clear all these ones out. Now, if you come over here, you can see these are patchy. You've got jalapenos, you've got um, peppers, uh, cucumbers here. There's more cucumbers in the back. There's um, Scottish bonnets. Um, it's just, uh, it's gone crazy in here. But if you look up, look at this lot here. I've took the tops off and you just cannot stop them growing. That's the only problem with these, um, with these rainbow blends, they, they, they grow really spingly. But I mean, look at the fruit that they give you guys. Look at the fruit, this is, I mean, these things here. These is just starting to, these are all different colors. I mean, they just give you tons and tons and tons of uh, fruits. But you've got to be able to put up with them growing out of control. And uh, lucky for us, we've got no blight in here in this greenhouse. We've got a touch in the other greenhouse, just a touch of light starting and I've got that under control but um, I don't come in here and go in there. I do it on um, different days and uh, it's just to stop the spread of uh, any diseases. And as you see these are all these chilies and peppers are all ripening there. And uh, yeah it's pretty awesome. So that's it. That's the greenhouse. There's my car.
and uh, we're going to be cutting this grass. It needs, a, it needs a bit of a cut here, a long here. Water butts are full. I put these gutters here so, so it runs the water away from the shed. That works. It's just the shed needs a, a lick of paint, so that's what we're going to be doing shortly. Giving this a lick of paint. I think the car, the car needs a wash as well. <laughs> so, last look at the plot. That's what it's looking like, guys. Tell me what you think. So there you go, folks. It's um, it's coming to an end. This is the worst part of the year when everything's coming out. However, for me. Um, there's a lot of stuff going in. Uh, we always grow all the way through the year. It doesn't matter, matter if it's snowing. We'll still we'll grow summer. Um, good things to, to be growing, starting to grow now. Um, the winter cabbages and um, it won't be long before the garlic will be going in and uh, the winter onions and um, the, the we'll be starting the runner beans. I mean, it's, it's coming up to. The ninth month, it'll soon be Christmas, dreaded Christmas. This year has flown, it really has. It's absolutely flown by. And um, yeah, we've had not just my plot that we've been working, I've been working on my brothers as well. And that's where I've been doing a few things over there. Um, we will be going over. Um, like I said, I've videoed everything, so it's just a matter of putting the videos together. But um, yeah, that's it for this one, folks. So we got the second best weight of Cara and um, well the plot's looking not too bad at the moment and um, there's plenty more of them potatoes in the buckets to, to do. Um, I think we've got about we've we've done I think we've done five buckets and I think we've done fifty buckets total. So there's still 45 buckets probably of um, reveals but we won't be putting them all up. Uh, we'll just be putting the worst and the best up. Uh, so I'll show you, it's, it's not as easy as it, it, it looks from time to time. A lot of these other buckets will be uh, less weights um, because they're different varieties of spuds. We might get one or two um, surprises, but we'll have to wait and see for that. Anyway, that's it for this one, folks. I hope you like the video. Leave your comments below. I'd love to know what you, what you think of the plot and the spuds and I'll see you all in the next one so bye for now